Hello, we're now going to look at formatting your map using XMind. So if you want to make your map more personal or a bit prettier or more attractive, you can do so by doing the following. By clicking on the map itself and by going to the properties sidebar, you'll see that you can change the background colour. So for example, if you don't want the background colour to be white, simply select the background colour and you can pick any of the colours that you want. So I'm not going to make it too different, I'm going to add a, maybe a nice lilac colour. And you'll see that the map has changed to the colour. Equally, you can select a wallpaper by choosing this button here, select wallpaper. And XMind will offer you some suggestions. So perhaps you might want to make your background a checkered colour, sorry, a checkered format. There you have it. So it really depends on what you're looking for, you can have a play about for yourself. Similarly, if you'd like to change any of the styles of the branches, you can do so. If you click on the branch, again, go across to the properties menu, you'll see a little icon here, sorry, a little legend that says my styles. Select choose and apply, and XMind has a set of styles for you to choose from. So you can choose any of these topic styles. For example, I'm going to select this one just to show you, and you'll see that the branches change. You can equally add or edit these styles by pressing add edit styles and a new box will open and this is all yours to play with. You can select the style, perhaps you want a cloud, you can change the colour, you can text, sorry, change the text properties, it's really yours to play with. You can have a, have a go and decide whatever you like. In this demonstration we're going to look at the map structure. So if you go onto XMind, you'll need to look for a little button, which is a little square here on the right hand corner, that says Properties. If you click on this, this will open up a new Properties menu. So as I said, we're going to start with the structure. Now you can see here that the structure we are using at the moment is Balanced Map, where everything is going clockwise. By clicking on these two little arrows, you will see a whole list of possible ways of structuring your mind map. For example, if you would like your mind map to look like an organisational chart, so have something on the top followed by your subtopics down below, you can press organisational chart up to down. And the topic that you were highlighted will change into an organisational chart form. So you can do it for each branch. Let me just show you another example. If I click on Monday, click on the properties sidebar. And if I want my branch on Monday to look more like a logic chart with all of the subtopics to the left, I can do so by clicking on this, closing the properties box by clicking it, and you'll see that the branch and the subtopics have changed to be left heavy. Let's say you want your whole mind map to look completely different. You have to click on the central topic, so I'm going to click on weekly plan, go over to the properties bar, select the structure that I wish. So this time I might want my whole mind map to look more like a fishbone. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to press fishbone, left headed, click off, and you'll see that my mind map has changed to look more like a fishbone with everything on one side. There you go. To get your mind map back to how it was before, all you have to do is click on the structure again and go back to map and your mind map will be back to normal. Just to finish off this demonstration, I'm going to change my branches back to how they were by clicking on Properties, Structure, and if I press Follow Parent Structure, it will automatically revert back to the structured map as it was before. So if I click off this, you'll see that my top three priorities have gone back to being how they were set out before.